Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Imari, also known as Soul Style Beauty, and today I'm doing a foundation review. This is like long overdue, um, but this is the Maybelline Super Stay Multi Use Foundation Stick, and I know somebody asked me to review it before, but I'm just not getting to it. So yeah, you guys know that one of my favorite foundations is the Maybelline Super Stay Liquid Foundation in the shade 355 Coconut. Like it's bomb.com, and I never really mess with drugstore make like foundation like that until these products came around so yes Maybelline like you are doing the thing so I'm excited to really try this foundation stick today and let's just get into the video okay, so I'm gonna start applying the foundation and just start with talking about the packaging but the packaging y'all it is white <laughs> and I just feel oh my gosh I feel like this is a little dark but we'll I don't know we'll see but I just feel that I don't know like I don't like white uh, packaging just because I feel that white packaging, like, you know good and well this is about to look dirty as ever when you, like, use the foundation. So I'm not a fan of, like, white packaging. But, yeah. But I'm excited to try this. The coverage, I don't know. I'm not, I don't really use, like, cream foundations. So, like, putting this on my face, it does feel a little bit heavy. I don't know. Like, that's how it feels, like, initially putting it on. But we're going to see how it feels once it's, like, blended out. This looks a little dark, so I'm a little scared. By the way, I'm using this in the shade 360 Mocha. I just noticed that they did have a warm coconut shade. But I didn't see it in the Target, nor online. So, I was just like, okay, great. But it did look perfect on my hand. So, we'll see. I don't know. Instead of blending it out with a beauty blender, I'm not really a fan of blending out my foundations with beauty blenders. And I've tried it before. I just feel like a lot of my products, like, gets wasted. I don't know if that's just me or what, but, like, I don't like the beauty blender. So I'm going to use my Real Techniques uh, buffing brush, and this never fails me. So I'm going to just pounce that in, and we'll see how it looks. Hmm. One thing that I really like, it doesn't feel as like heavy as it did when I like put it on. Cream is always like heavier than liquid, but when I blended it out just now, it doesn't feel as heavy. So thank God. Oh my goodness. I just feel like the color matches me so. Oh, that's Maybelline. I am not mad. Like if I could choose like a drugstore brand right now that I'm so in love with, like as far as like makeup and products and being on it, it would definitely be. Maybelline like they have been just doing it lately for me just with like the products that they're coming out with and it's like Inclusive they think about you know the black woman and I also wanted to show you it on my skin and I'm gonna just blend that out But you see to me like it still gives you like that golden undertone vibe Which I like but it's in a deeper skin tone. So I'm gonna blend that out on my hand And to me, that blended like perfectly. Okay, so let's talk about the claim. So this foundation stick is a multitasking stick that uh, conceals, contours, highlights, and covers. I can definitely like picture these sticks being used for multiple purposes. So like I agree with that. Um, it just says that it's a matte finish. I don't agree with that like I said it's not like super dewy I don't look super oily but I don't look super duper matte as well so I feel like it's like in the middle it also talks about the precision blend uh blend sponge and like I said I'm not a fan like even as I'm using this I cannot picture using this sponge to apply this product so I don't know like I said like those are um I just don't really like beauty blenders like that to blend on my foundation but yeah I'm just gonna continue doing my face I'm just gonna do like a natural beat honestly because I have to go and do so many errors today errands today errors I can't but um, I need to get a new phone. I need to do a blog post for another brand, Avino. So I'm just like getting ready for that. But yeah, guys, I hope that you are all well. But let me know. Did you um, listen to the Tori album? Girl, that... <laughs> Y'all already know if you've been following me for a long time. Like my intro used to be Tori Kelly. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to the concert in October. I think that October is probably going to be one of the best months of the year. Let me not say that. I don't know. But I feel like between the Tory Kelly, 
between the Tori Kelly concert, between going to Gym Beauty, like I was invited to Gym Beauty Creator Day, literally only God. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Like in October, like I've been collabing with so many brands, and it's like, thank you, Lord. Like I don't know, it, I just feel really good. Also, my God Girls brunch, like it's not the event spaces are not only covered for October, but then also November. It's just super amazing to feel good about you know the things that you're doing and doing the things that you're called to do and like still being passionate about like m your interests like beauty and fashion so i really 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 and this wasn't even planned want you guys to go after your dreams like even if that means coming home to work on what you like for like 10 minutes come on like i'm telling you it's so worth it like you don't want to go throughout your life and then be like oh my gosh i never pursued this or i never did that and like that's one thing that <clears throat> i've learned and i would want to instill in my kids it's like you can honestly like discover and like different crafts and like you don't have to stick to one but if that's a skill that you want to pick up in your life like do it <laughs> And nobody's stopping you. I would never try to stop my kids from doing something creatively. Like my first love was hair. And I got a hair doll. And from there, like, I went into fashion. From there, like, now it's, like, makeup and stuff. And teaching and, like, these things, like, in life, it's okay to change it up. And explore. Explore. You need to. So anyways, I'm just going to put on my makeup um, and I'll be back on camera. So this is the final look of using the Maybelline Most High Use Foundation Stick in the shade 360 Mocha. This has been like my go-to look um, for the most part. Like if I wear makeup or whatever, this is what I've been wearing. Um, so yeah, but I felt like it blended really well with like my everyday products or the products that I do use when I do wear makeup. Um, like there is no complaints as far as like going later throughout the day and seeing if it gets oily or if I look like a grease ball I don't know you're gonna have to check the blog because I'm gonna be doing like a full-on blog post about this foundation as well but thank you guys so so much for watching this first impressions video like I said I really like it I have no problem like I'm loving Maybelline at the moment let me know your thoughts on this foundation if you tried it and I'll see you in my next video bye guys